Welcome to another edition of Breast Fuck Guys. Yeah, we sucked. I'm not gonna lie. First off, I'm gonna give you some stats here and you're gonna ponder this, all right? Braxton Miller, five for 10 for 56 yards and one interception. Not gonna cut it. Bowserman came in, threw for 714 with 87 yards and one TD. Got us back into the game. Hall ran for 18 carries, 18 times for 45 yards. And Hyde carried for five carries with 33 yards, going against the number one ranked defense in National Football League in Michigan State. That game just looked ugly. We had to thank it up. We had to thank the uh, defense for keeping it in for us. So um, they really gave us time to uh, to come back and win this game. So next card. OSU snapped, almost snapped a 16 game. Uh, uh, actually, we did snap a 16 game home streak with the 10 to 7 loss against Michigan State. Uh, Braxton Miller again went for the 5 for 10 for 56 yards. Uh, he had negative 27 rushing yards. Negative. And he is the, the future over Ohio State, so uh, you gotta get positive yards in order to win games, Braxton Miller. Just throwing that out there. But we have Nebraska coming up this Saturday at 8 p.m. prime time. We all know how Ohio State plays in prime time. We're freaking horrible. I'm sorry. You know, I, I think this is going to be a blowout for uh, Ohio State. It's going to be a 42 to 17 uh, victory. Oh, 42 14. I'm giving myself a little three extra points there. But I took them away really fast because we're playing Nebraska in prime time. That's all I have for Brett's Buckeyes for you. You can follow me on Twitter at Big Irish Finn. At, uh, sorry, Big Irish Finn 13. Or you can mail me at Brett at Game Day Battle. Or you can follow me on uh, Facebook at Game Day, uh, the Game Day Battle Facebook page. You ask me some questions there, I'll get back to you. Again, my email is brett at gamedaybattle.com or on Twitter at BigIrishFin13. Go Buckeyes. Hopefully we can pull this one out. Nebraska. They just came off a big loss, didn't they? Welcome to the Big Ten, Nebraska. Oh my Corn? god. Corn? Huh? Yeah. Corn Oscars? Wisconsin. You coming here and fucking smash some Buckeyes open? <laughs> Wisconsin fucked them up. And the corn no, no, they're the leaders. Come shove they're the leaders, aren't corn they? Corn straight up our ass. <laughs> You're ready to get cop fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, corn? You're gonna fuck in the ass with corn? <laughs> you feel every rivet. <laughs> this is sports related, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Welcome back. That's so Game awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Anyway, uh, I don't know that's going to be in the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, it's going before. Nice. Um, so uh, the Buckeyes just were pathetic, and um, that offense didn't yeah. show up. And I don't even want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, broken up. <laughs> so I didn't want to spend more than a couple minutes on this, but. Um, I got a vent. I think we all got a vent a little bit. Brett, at least just fill us in on what happened. We lost. Thank you. And stay, yeah. stay tuned for Brent Buckeyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you told me to keep it short and simple. Oh, and simple. man. I will say, um, gotta give thanks to our defense. Because <laughs> if we didn't yeah. have defense, man, we would have been, <laughs> right. been 56 to nothing. And that's one positive to take out of me, though. Yeah. They helped yeah. for the game. Yeah, that really is. Beer half full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's is why I said the defense. Thanks for keeping it in for us and yeah. uh, keeping us in the game, I should say. Joe and, Bowserman, uh, you suck. <laughs> you kidding? really going to blame on Bowserman? <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> we can blame all Braxton Miller did so yeah. much better. None of our running backs should. Well, he's a either. freshman. Don't you got you got to lay off Braxton Miller because he's a freshman. Uh, so uh, uh, that was a knock on DST. Uh, but uh, battle because right you know negative twenty seven rushing yards is always going to get you a win in the horseshoe. <laughs> Braxton Miller, congratulations on that. Ugly game, BM. Yes. Um, all around, it was just plain ugly. Just just ugly. Just. Defense. Yeah, no, norm, Defense. Normally our running, okay. our, normally our running game has been there, but, but they were Offense. There, so we, we really had nothing. Offense was ugly. Defense was... Uh, they tried to keep us in it. Well, yeah, they, they kept it in They they kept it in it for us. Uh, Remember two weeks ago when we beat Toledo? Yeah. We're lucky we beat Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we, happened, we won that game. Yeah, we almost lost that one too. But um, I, I, I didn't expect us to be this bad. I expected us to be bad. I didn't expect us to fall out of the top 25, to be honest with you. Well, we got it. 
two weeks ago. Well, not at the begin- <laughs> not at the beginning of the season we weren't. I mean, we were still ranked. I thought that we would definitely at least keep some kind of ranking. But I think there's. Uh, I actually heard on uh, sports radio today that there's one. One AP voter that has Ohio State in the top 25, <laughs> and they should strip his vote right away. Let me tell you what, because that guy—you know—he's got some Buckeye underwear on. Yeah, he's one of the guys who's paying some of these kids, man. So I gotta keep him. I gotta keep him relevant. <laughs> <laughs> one AP voter, thanks to you. But I mean, I don't know. We're supposed to get these guys back, and then they hit us with another suspension. So it's just another. Where did they come from? It, it came, another, another violation, man. You know, it, you know violation. really, it's, it's not the NCAA. This was Ohio State enforcing oh, this. God. So this is this is Ohio State looking for anything to show that they really care and they're really what? trying to to crack down on these guys. Which is why we will not get any notable recruit for the next no. five years because nobody's going to come into this sort of environment where they know everything they do that isn't perfect. They're going to be, you know, so in some way yeah. criticized for That's or, or joke, penalized. Man. And the only reason why Ohio State would come out and do that is because they now learn that the ramifications of not taking action and then the NCAA finding out about it and having them take action first is going to totally That's a joke. make it a hundred times better. So yep. they're covering their own ass is what they're doing. Yep. And thanks to the AD director of Ohio State for doing that because now the NCAA is actually going to come in and investigate the whole thing. So there could be more possibility of suspension. Oh, God. But, uh, but thanks for bringing that out and uh, suspending them and uh, – I think what it was was they they took money from a booster after their internship in Cleveland, I think, and a hundred dollars. They took a hundred dollars. I think yeah, they got they got paid for their internship, which consists of a violation because it was an internship. But either way, you boosters are really screwing it up for us. So keep the fuck out and just go to the game. Hey, I love Buckeyes football, man, but I might be taking I might be taking the season off. I'm telling you what, right now I've never I, I can't remember. Uh, seeing our football program in this much disarray, and I'm not going to say I'm jumping ship just because we're a losing team. I mean, I am a true Buckeye fan, but it's just it hurts to watch these games right now. It does. So I mean, I just need to. I'm, I'm still. I, I miss. I miss Trestle so much. I stare at my sweater vest in my closet, <laughs> and I know that I'll never be able to wear it again unless. He cries in it. Yeah. And I, uh, we got the Huskers coming up this week, and if you want to know what I think about them, then just rewind it to the. <laughs> beginning of this segment <laughs> yeah, that's probably what's going to happen to I, us i honestly can't believe that that we're really losing this season to our boosters and the boost club i know they keep the game they keep the boosters going and everything but you know what keep your money in your pocket you're losing it up for all of us i mean it's really it, hey, they just got caught that's all just disgusted by all of college football. I hate, yeah, to, I hate, to, I hate to throw this wicked curveball in there, but yeah. college football really, really got blown up, and now all these, and now all these uh, schools changing conferences, and it's all about money, man. It's just all about dollars and contracts. All right, we want to welcome everybody back to another edition of the Rumor Mill. I'm Ramon, and I'm here to bring you the hottest rumors around all of sports. Now, this edition right here is going to be all Cleveland edition. We're going to be talking about Indians and Browns. At this point, Jim Tomey is retired, but word on the street is he wants to come back to the Indians, and they're looking to bring him back. Pay him the money that we need, have a consistent guy out there, not with Hafner, him being hurt all the time. Why not Tomey? City loves him. Love the story. Retire here, and he started here. Why not? Now over to the hottest rumor and the rumor that's been getting the most noise today and it's the talk of the town and that is Peyton Hillis. Him being hurt, sick, it's it's everything. Everybody's talking about what could what could it be, why he didn't start last week, why he ain't getting the touches this week. Everything. Every if it's out there, they're talking about it. He came out today and he talked about it is not anything to do with the contract. He was sick. The guy lost 10 to 12 pounds of that illness he had. And why, when they start a running back like that, wouldn't want to be on the field. So he squashed all those rumors. The guy wants to play here. Hey, and the city loves him. So why not? You know. Also, big blow to us. You see him lifting off the field. Joe Hayden with a sprained knee. He had an MRI today. Everything came back negative he came back with a brace on it he was standing during the whole meeting so look for him to be back not this week coming up 
for the following. Look for them to miss one game. Hey, let them heal up. We got a bye week this week. But look for him to come back strong. Hey, and with that talent he got, we need him on the field. All right, guys, so if you got any questions, I'm here to answer them for you. You can hit me on the Facebook or Twitter or email me at uh, Ramon at GameDayBattle.com, and I'm here to answer them all. And, hey, look for me to bring you the hottest rumors next week, uh, next week so be ready for that. <laughs> I'll watch it. Welcome back. We've got a small amount of time left, and we want to use that time to raise our beard to somebody we hate or a subject that we love or don't like. So, uh, again, Brett. Um, take two. Take it, man. It's you. All right. You guys ready for this? My first political rant, I think. Political? Oh, all yeah, right. Yeah, politics. Politics. I like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, this actually goes toward It Gets Better project. Um, there's... It's about, uh, the project is about, you know, trying to stop bullying and everything in, in school and everything like that, especially towards, you know, the uh, LGBT teens or um, the the kids that are way overweight or something like that. It's, it's, it's kids that are getting bullied in school and to the point where they're committing suicide to themselves. Uh, it's a great project. It's a great uh, organization. For people standing up, congrats to uh, like uh, Tampa Bay Raves, uh, Baltimore Orioles, the uh, New York Yankees, all those are all stepping in to help a great cause. Um, it just needs to stop. We're one whole nation, one whole world. You know, there's no time, there's no room for bullying around people for any of their lives. At the age of 14, there's no room for it. We're one, one whole family, one big world here. We need to live together. Um, Everybody uh, should go out and check out the uh, Rise Against Make It Stop video. You'll find out more about it. And, um, you know, as, as, a, as a brother of a, of a gay type person, uh, gay type person, you have a... <laughs> he's gay. Yeah, it's he's right. gay. I'm trying to make that political, but it didn't work yeah. out too well. But uh, as, as a person that has it there, as a person that has a gay brother, you know, uh, and, you know, fighting and fighting for him and making sure that, you know, nobody beats him up. And I've actually gotten into a couple fights because of it. You know, it just needs to stop. We're not in high school right now. For the kids that are in high school, it does get better. You know, just got to keep living every day. You know, if they keep bullying you, just throw it out of your head. Just throw it out of your mind and live on the next day. And out to you, this is, this is to you guys. So, uh, it does get better. And uh, here's to a brighter and hope the bullying stops for you guys. Yeah, that's actually a really good campaign. Um, yeah, it's it's... It's all video based, like YouTube, basically mm -hmm. YouTube based. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And so. uh, also support no hate, no H8. That I'm not familiar with, but we will do that. Yep. So, anyway, now we got, got to follow up on that. Yeah. That still got last. You should have like. Oh, that's why I said. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll go along with that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, right this also goes to the uh, Rodem uh, Rodemeyer family who uh, just recently lost their son for being gay because of bullying. This goes to you after he posted a video for It Gets Better. Uh, it just got worse and worse. Even his sister's getting it now. She went to a homecoming dance and they chanted that he should be dead. We're glad that he's dead. He shouldn't be living anyways. Fuck you guys. You have no room to say that. So this is also to uh, the parents and everything. And we feel you. I got your back. I like it. I like it. Rod Rodemeyer? Is that the name? Yep. Jamie Rodemeyer. He was 14 years old. That's pretty... That's young. That's very young. I mean, I had two sound like ones... You know, really sad ones. That's all right. You know, people's eyes. It's good for a good cause, man. Really check it out. Go ahead, Ramon. What do you got, man? I'm gonna let you ride. All right, I'm gonna follow up with that. I'm gonna. Dale was trying to be skillful there. I tried. I tried to play it off, but he set the pick. Now I'm gonna roll. All right, I want to. I want to raise my beer to Race Threads, which is just this little shop over on Pro Road. A wonderful, wonderful lady whose name I can't remember off the top of my head, but. I had this wonderful jersey that Joe Hayden signed, and uh, unfortunately it had a LeBron nameplate on that, but she go, she cleaned that up for me and put Hayden on there for $10. So I know a lot of Browns fans have a lot of Browns jerseys sitting in their closet that they can't wear anymore. Well, you can get some new life, uh, breathe into your old school jerseys, just check them out. Uh, they're called Race Threads. Uh, I wasn't prepared, so I don't have a phone number or anything fantastic like that, but you can check them out online. Uh, or I'll post their information on the Facebook page. You can check them out, or just you know type in your iPhone. It's 2011 people. <laughs> get race, with it. race threads. <laughs> exactly, Mike. 2011. Get an ESPN football. And uh, tell her, uh, tell her DST sent.